Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Pithy Bikes channel. Today we will be、uh, mitering a tube on the mini lathe. Uh, the tube we're using is a mild steel tube that I picked up from a steel scrapyard. Pretty sure I paid too much for this thing.、Uh, it's not extruded, it's just、um, it's like rolled up and then welded together. It's a 1/16 inch wall, which is nothing like a, a real frame tube, so it,、uh, <laughs> we're just using it for practice, so I think it'll be alright. And、uh, these are hole saws that I got off、uh, Amazon for like $11. And、uh, that thing I just screwed in there, that is an arbor. So、uh, you can stick these things into a collet on your mill or on your lathe.、Uh, in this case, we're just going to、um, tighten the jaws to the chuck on this thing.、Uh, I got this long arbor for some reason. And after I got it all out of the box, I realized it's way too long to be for my needs. So the arbors are threaded at 1 half 20, but the larger hole saw is threaded at 5 eighths 18. The larger hole saw came with a,、um, this arbor here that I'm holding. It's like a drill chuck style arbor. So,、uh, we'll test this out in the mini lathe and see how straight it is. Yeah, it's not so straight. You can see it wobbling in there. So,、uh, I will try threading my own arbor on the mini lathe. This, uh, This is a manual to the mini, mini lathe, and it actually explains how to do this.、Uh, it's pretty well written, and、uh, you can see here there's a picture of the, the gearbox. You gotta change the gears to the right、um, I don't know, ratio.、Uh, you need to do this for threading. So I won't get into all the you know, how to thread because there's a lot of videos on how to do that. But、uh, I did leave this、uh, process of me changing the gears so you guys just can kind of see an overview of what's involved. Uh, that little gear I just put on there, it's just there as a spacer, it doesn't connect with any other gears. Okay, so now it's time for threading. Alright, so you can see it got stuck there, and that's because I was cutting in too deep. I think I was cutting in around four thousandths, thousandths and it only wanted me to do two thousandths. Uh, but that still didn't seem right, and so after I was done threading, I actually looked at the machine. And、uh, the clamp that connects to the lead screw、uh, was not aligned properly, so it was causing extra load on the,、uh, on the motor. Alright, so、uh, as you can see, it's still wobbling, and、um, yeah, the problem is in the hole saw itself. So、uh, I thought of a way to fix this, but、uh, not in this video. So, in some future video, maybe I'll show that to you guys. I don't know if it'll work, but we'll see what happens. 
Okay, so I um, I cut another arbor, and this is the real one. The that other one was just practice. And now we're cutting up some tube. I think I cut about uh, uh, what is it, six pieces, so that when you put them together, I can practice weld on three joints. All right, so now I need to make. Um, a fixture to hold the tubes that sits uh, that gets clamped into the mini lathe. So that's what I'm doing now. Alright, we are almost there. So uh, I'm putting the fixture on the facing side of the tool post and I'm aligning that little hole, that little register hole I made with the live center on the tailstock. Now I'm switching sides and this is the actual side that we will miter the tube on. Alright, are you guys ready to do this? Here we go. Put some cutting fluid on. And I think I'm running it at around three or four hundred RPM. Oh man. So I knew that was going to happen because obviously I set up this video. And uh, yeah, got stuck and I remember it very differently when I first did this. I thought I was moving in a lot slower but as you can see in the video I was going way too fast. And uh, those teeth just dug right into that tube and yeah it totally threw the hole saw off alignment and I don't know if I actually messed up the hole saw after that because it, it seemed to be wobbling more. And uh, yeah, so here we go again. I turned up the RPM a little. Yeah, and it, it got caught again. So this time the teeth bit in so hard that the uh, that it rotated the whole fixture on the tube post. And so I had to realign everything. I turned the RPM like way up. I turned it up almost full speed to around 1200 RPM. And uh, that worked pretty well. So I had assumed going at a lower RPM was the right choice because I was cutting metal, uh, but what I didn't take into account was the sharpness of the teeth on the hole saw. And because they're so sharp that uh, I need to run at a higher RPM, the other problem is this mini lathe has, it doesn't have a lot of torque, so it kind of relies on speed to make the cut. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will run some practice welds on these fillet joints. Uh, I haven't done that in a while, so that should be interesting. 
please drop in and I'll see you guys next time.